He's the only man who can beat Barry Sheen this year in this championship. The riders there, there's Mick Grant from Wakefield, the man who won the championship in 1975, and really he's going to give trouble to Barry Sheen. Number 31 on the front grid, a surprise to us, Gerhard Vogt from West Germany, but he's lapped in 50 seconds in practice this morning, just 0.2 of a second outside the lap record. Barry Sheen, number seven, world 500cc champion in 1977 and 1976, and the man indeed who is dominated, as Dickie says, this Superbike Championship. Leading at the moment, and only Pat Hennan is the man who can, in actual fact, beat Barry Sheen for this title. The warm-up lap will not be to warm-up engines, but to warm-up tyres, because these Superbike racing machines, they really are slick tyres. They're absolutely smooth, a very special rubber on the rear, and that's the tyre. These tyres need to be warmed up to quite a high temperature to give really good adhesion. And as, they, as I say, for these tyres, it's absolutely essential, isn't it? Well, yes, Peter, and it's better really on this short circuit um, to have two laps, really. These uh, six tyres really only start working until they get quite hot. This is the warm-up lap, and the uh, tactics here are going to play quite a part, because really it's a battle between the Suzuki and Kawasaki teams, isn't it? Well, that's right. Well, I um, I know Barry, and he's uh, intent on winning this race. But I think uh, he'll he'll play it cool, and, and certainly for the uh, first half of the race, it's going to be really close to, yeah. between Barry and uh, Stan Woods and Mick Grant. And uh, I'm surprised to see uh, Ron Haslam back on the third row. Uh, this is relative to his practice times, and also Patrick Pons and, and Saron, who are terrific French riders. Yeah, I expect to see them all together in the first few laps. It might be worth saying here that the absolute lap record uh, for the Superbikes of France is 49.8 seconds, which was held by Barry Ditchburn and Mick Grant jointly. Well, in practice this morning, Barry Sheen, machine number seven, equaled that lap record. So I think, Bill, it's going to be a very, very quick race in these perfect conditions. <coughs> yes, I think you're right. You know, it's going to be really interesting. Unfortunately, I think a few riders are going to slide off because they're determined to, uh, to do well. You know, some after a, a mediocre season and, and others to prove that they are as good as they've been this year. Yeah. Let's look at that front row of the grid then. In pole position, lapped at 49.8 seconds in practice this morning, number seven, Barry Sheen. Next to him is number 11, Stan Woods, and the number 31, Gerhard Vogt, both lapped in 50 seconds. Number 10, Mick Grant, had a lap in 51 seconds, and at number, number one, Steve Parrish, 51.4 seconds. Pat Hennan also 51.4 seconds, and number 12, Barry Ditchburn, in 52 seconds. So you can see from that, just 2.2 seconds separating the first eight in practice. And the tension will now be mounting in those riders, the grid being cleared, and the riders now, the last moment of tension, it's 30 laps of this 1.2-mile circuit, and there they go, and it's really the law as they sweep now into Paddock Bend, a third tier corner, 80 to 90 miles an hour. Barry Sheen at the end, at the back of the field. Is Barry Sheen out of the race? He is, I think, Phil. Well, I think the uh, Suzuki is misfiring on about two cylinders. I don't know what's happening on the line, but maybe they've been kept waiting too long and it's all too close. Well, that's certainly sensation, but, but as we... Don't forget about Barry. I've, I've seen this happen before, and he can come back right into the race. Fine. Well, as they sweep around now, that's their left-hander at 90 miles an hour. It's number five. Dave Potter, who is in the lead with the Kawasaki in second place. That's Barry Ditchburn, number 12, in second place. As they sweep into clearways now, up into third gear, 50 to 60 miles an hour. As they sweep round there, the leader there, number five, Dave Potter, in second place, number 12, Barry Ditchburn, as they come through to complete lap one of this 30-lap race. A distance of 36 miles into Paddock for the second time, down to third gear, 80 to 90 miles an hour. Number five is the leader, Dave Potter, number 12, Barry Ditchburn in second place. Mick Grant, I noticed there, the other green meanie Kawasaki rider is in fourth place, but I think possibly going into third. But there's the leader, Mick Grant has gone through into third place. So we've got number five, Dave Potter, number 12, Barry Ditchburn, number 10, Mick Grant. There the first three and Ditchburn is trying to take the lead. Can he? does indeed on that left-hander. The Kawasaki, number 12, Barry Ditchburn in front. In second place, number five, Dave Potter, as they sweep around clearways. Up into third 
gear now, a quick flick into fourth, then to fifth, and 140 miles an hour as they flash past the start and finish area, two laps completed, Ditchburn number 12, leading Potter number 5 with Mick Plant number 10 in third place. Barry Sheen is coming along pit straight, he's way down the field, now can, ba can Barry Sheen really pull off a miracle here? You saw him at the back of the field, he's still last, but I don't think Barry Sheen is going to be last for long. Barry Sheen up now to do it, but we're back with the leaders there, Barry Ditchburn number 12, but number 5, Dave Potter, into clearways, Ditchburn opening a gap, opening a gap at front, and look at the way he really hangs off that machine. Nicking a gear up now into fourth, into fifth, and 140 miles an hour, the superbikes do as they scream past here at the end of the third lap. Ditchburn in the lead, number 12, Potter, number five, is second, and Midland, number 10, is in third position. And number, looking now for Pat Hennon, number three, I can tell you, he's in fifth place. There's Ditchburn now, through Druid, Potter, Grant, and Pat Hennon, as I say, is now holding on to fifth place, but it's Ditchburn out in front, and uh, I know for a fact, and I think Phil would agree with me, Barry Ditchburn is very happy at Brands Hatch. Yes, he is. He goes uh, really well, especially at this end of season race meeting. You know, he's a local lad and is an expert on this circuit and uh, will take a lot of catching. But uh, I'm sure Barry Sheen has done this on purpose just to make a really exciting race for us here. Fine. Well, he's, he's picked up four places in actual fact. Is that means he's now four to five to the back, but look at the traffic in front, he's got to fight his way through. The exhaust still smoking as he changes gear, but it's still Barry Ditchburn, number 12, who is the leader. But Barry Sheen, now watch, can he pass these as they come round to complete this lap? Barry Sheen, trying all he knows now, and he's got a lot of work to do. Just steps up as he breaks, changes gear to third gear for the right-hander at Paddock Bend. Number 12, there he is, Barry Ditchburn, incidentally, the nephew of the former Spurs and England goalkeeper, Ted Ditchburn. That's Barry Ditchburn, and just look at the acrobatics he has, and he rolls that machine around clearways. Number 12, Barry Ditchburn, the leader. There he is, completing the lap, completing lap five of this 30 lap race. In second place still is Potter, and third is number 10, Mick Grant. It's Kawasaki, Yamaha, and Kawasaki. Up now to Druids, changing down to first gear, 30 mile an hour corner in conditions today. I was talking to Mick Grant, he said possibly second, but I talked to him just before the race and he said no, it's first gear at Druids without a doubt. That's a fifth gear straight, the pit straight there, 125 miles an hour, these machines will be reaching. Barry Ditchburn. Around clearways. That's the leader. In the meantime, Barry Sheen has got through a lot of that traffic. Coming down now into this left-hander at 90 miles an hour, lying about, uh, in actual fact, around about the 20th position at the moment, but working his way through the field. Barry Sheen, just look at that knee, almost scrapes the ground. He sits up, changes to the other side of the machine, and he is trying everything he knows. The leader still, number 12, Barry Ditchburn, out of Druids, a little wheelie, that means that the, so much power to uh, transfer to that rear wheel, it lifts the front, and away he goes. Number 12, Barry Ditchburn, cranking now into that 80 mile an hour left-hander. Around clearways, there's the second place man, number 5, Dave Potter. Mick Grant is still in third place, number 10, and Barry Sheen has moved up into 19th position. A lot of work to do. Completing now the seventh lap, Barry Ditchburn changes down to third, 80 to 90 miles an hour into this notorious paddock bend with that real drop and then climbing the hill up into fourth gear, 100 miles an hour before braking. You see the front of the machine dipping as he cranks it in. Number 12, Barry Ditchburn. Number 5, Dave Potter. Number 10, Mick Grant. They're as close as that. And a little wheelie once again there from Barry Ditchburn. Ditchburn, Potter and Grant. this circuit, I do know that. Sheen, incidentally, is up into 18th position. 
Russian now. And completing eight laps. Ditchburn, Potter, and Grant. Phil, Nick climbs there in third place, his teammate out in front. Tactics come into it here, do they? Well, yes, this is a nice position to make to be in. Uh, well, I think uh, this is a, a just situation for the two accounts arguments uh, who need good um, pit signals, you know. I hope their team manages up to it to keep them informed of, of Barry Sheen's uh, progress to the race. Mick Rand, of course, has been the holder of this championship, and there's Barry Sheen now crossing the line, completing his eighth lap into Paddock, the third gear corner, 17th position now. There were 28 starters on the grid, remember? He was in last place. And he's moved up through. There's the leaders now, and Potter's having a go at Ditchburn as they run to the away. But Ditchburn on that Kawasaki, managing to keep in front, but there's no doubt about it. Number five there, Dave Potter, is having a go, and he's trying to go around the outside of Paddock. He can't make it, and Mitch Rand is also closing the gap. There's the dice now. Ditchburn, Potter, can he get through at the inside of Brewers? He's trying. Can he outbreak him? No. Ditchburn closes the door there, and Potter's still content with second place, and Mick Rand closing. There's a Kawasaki sandwich for you with Dave Potter right in the middle of it. There's the first three in this tremendous Superbike final round. Number 12, Ditchburn. Number 5, Potter. Number 10, Mick Rand. As quick as that. Into that 50 to 60 mile an hour third gear corner, clearways. Up through the gearbox once again, up into fourth. Up into fifth. And flat out. And Potter's having a go on the inside this time. Can he get through? Dave Potter, number five, no, the Kawasaki of Ditchburn just holds him off, and we've got 20 laps to go in this 30-lap race. Potter tries the inside, Ditchburn is wide, Grant is closing. This is tremendous superbike racing. Barry Ditchburn, number 12, into Druids, a first gear, 30 miles an hour corner, almost hanging off that machine as he holds it round. Potter holding on to him, and Dave Potter, we're told, has equaled the lap record at 49.8 seconds. That's Dave Potter. What a tremendous performance indeed by him. But he's not making that impression on Barry Ditchburn at the moment. Through clearways, Mick Grant's still there. There's the first three in shot now, and Ditchburn really screwing on that pressure, and already they're catching up with some of the tail-enders with just 11 laps completed. Someone down at Brewers, we can't quite spot the number, number 25 it is. Richard Peckett, number 25, is off, but he seems perfectly okay. But now the battle arm coming out of Brewers. There they are, number 12, Barry Ditchburn, number 5, Dave Potter. And uh, one man already been left, Mick Grant has got that problem now, he's got to take that tail ender. And he has done, so it's still the same order, with Potter really closing up now. Dave Potter lying currently in fourth place in the Superbike Series this year. Phil, a lap record or equaling it by Dave Potter, he's certainly having a good season. Yes, he's had a steady season this year, and obviously this last uh, meeting he's uh, proving what he's worth. Especially with the tuning of Ted Roth, his. Uh, I'll just get in because there's Barry Sheen still fighting his way through. Barry on that Suzuki. Phil, one thing I was going to mention, we noticed puffs of smoke when he seemed to have trouble. It's still there. Is this well, something that could be serious? It's possibly the, uh, one of the sparking plugs is half oiled and he's not perhaps getting the full power and it's occasionally uh, oily yeah. and causing uh, the smoke to blow out. It certainly looks to be going pretty well there. He's up now into 13th position. But there's the leaders, Barry Ditchburn going outside. One of the slower, well, I say slower with uh, great respect, but uh, not quite as quick. There's number 12, and he's up on the grass. Barry Ditchburn, Potter's through in the lead. Well, and Mick Rand, his teammate, has passed him. So there's drama. Barry Ditchburn just coming into that uh, left-hander, just overshot slightly. So we've got a new leader now, number five, Dave Potter. And in second place, number 10, Mick Rand. So Barry Ditchburn just tried a little bit too hard there, possibly. And there he is, a new leader, Dave Potter, number five. Dave Potter riding superbly in this final race. There's number 10. Mick Brand in second place. There they go. And Barry Ditchburn now, after leading for the first 11 laps, has got the work to do. Number five, Dave Potter. 90 miles an hour on that left-hander. Up into fifth, but 125 miles an hour on the back straight. Changing down to third. Into that left-hander, between 80 and 90 miles an hour. There's Mick Grant, number 10. Just cranking it over. 
Sheen, I can tell you now, is up into 10th position. But there's number 10, but that's number 5, the leader. Dave Potter, again, going outside some of the other riders. Number 20 there was Bill Marks, but there's number 5, Dave Potter, the leader, changing down to third gear. And look at the riders in front of him now, he's got to get through. Dave Potter, number 5, still leading. And Mick Grant is still in second place. And in third place there still is Ditchburn. But there's the leader, number five, Dave Potter. Grant and Ditchburn in very close company there. Down to this left-hander now. Potter outside number 31 as they swing around into this left-hander now at between 80 and 90 miles an hour, Dave Potter. And that was the corner where Ditchburn had that spot of excursion onto the grass. He's still in that third place, but number five, Dave Potter, on that immaculately prepared machine, is leading this final round of the Superbike Series. Number five, Dave Potter, that's number 18, Neil Cutsworth, has just been left, and half distance, 15 laps to go. Potter still leads, 49.8 seconds, he equals the lap record. There's Barry Sheen, just going into clearways, working his way through the field. He's lying in 10th position, still those ominous puffs of smoke from the rear exhaust, but coming very, very fast up into top gear. And that's Tom Heron, just gone out of picture there, the uh, Irish privateer who did so well in the World Championships. There's the leader once again, though, number five, Dave Potter. Dave Potter. Immaculate style, as you can see. Number 10 is the second machine in that picture there. That's Mick Grant in second position. The leader is Dave Potter, number five. There you can see the difference between first and second. Number five, Dave Potter, and number 10, Mick Grant. There's the leader now completing 17 laps. Changing down, third gear, 80 to 90 miles an hour. Cranks it over, and there's Sheen on the back straight now, still moving up through the field. But what a disastrous start it was for him. He's trying everything, really hurling himself from side to side on that machine. Knee almost touching the ground, as he turns on the power once again now. Currently lying in 10th position. And just in front of him there again is Tom Heron, but that's number seven. The English World 500cc champion. Cranking it now into Paddock Bend. But there's the leader once again, number five, Dave Potter. Crouching down behind that fairing, getting all the wind resistance he can. Completing now 18 laps. There's the second place man, Mick Grant, number 10. But that's Potter, number five, up inside. One of the slower riders, 100 miles an hour, breaking fiercely as he goes into Druid's 30 mile an hour corner. Still leading. Number five, Dave Potter, fourth of the championship series in the moment. And the fight there for second and third now. Number 10, it's still Mick Grant, but his teammate Barry Ditchburn, number 12, closing on him just a little. But that's the leader, Dave Potter. Third gear, 50 to 60 miles an hour, changing up through the box to come past to complete 19 laps. 140 miles an hour there, and there's Mick Grant, the second man. Yes, he's inside, into Paddock Bend, Ditchburn also through, and there's the two Kawasaki's chasing this Yamaha of Dave Potter, who to me, Phil, seems to be pulling out. Yes, I think he is and pulling out on the two Kawasaki's. You know, really, he's, um, he's riding extremely well and extremely steadily, you know, although, uh, OK, the race is only halfway over, it's still a hard, long race. But I, I think, although Barry's coming through the field, um, in actual fact, he's dropping back on Potter. Fine, so that's the leader, Dave Potter, equal to lap record, 49.8 seconds. 
We can tell you in fourth place is number three, Pat Hennan. In fifth place is number one, Steve Parrish. And completing the first six is number 27, Frenchman Patrick Bonds. That's the first six, but there's the leader, number five, Dave Potter, into Paddock Bend. Cranking it over, you can see the rear wheel bouncing as he turns the power on using every inch of the road. It's still Mick Grant in second place, but that's the leader, number five, Dave Potter. Grant in second place, out of Druids. Really smooth, number five. As he cranks now on the back straight. There he is, number five. Dave Potter, age 27, lives in London now. And we look now for the second place man. There he is, number 10. Mick Grant, the 34-year-old Yorkshireman from Wakefield. And there he is, Mick Grant, nine laps to go. And it looks very much if Dave Potter can just keep this going, can the Kawasaki's close the gap? There's Barry Sheen on the back straight into that left-hander, 80, 90 miles an hour, currently holding ninth position, moving through the field, but with Pat Hennan not out in front, all Barry has got to do is sort of finish in eighth or seventh position to retain his championship. And he's really trying now on the inside there completing his 21st lap world champion in 76 and 77 but back we go to the leader number five dave potter 27 year old as i said comes from yorkshire but now lives in london and there he is the leader dave potter currently lying in fourth place in this championship and as you can see eight laps to go into paddock closing a little now as we see their number five Dave Potter the race leader fourth of the championship at the moment and the points he'll pick up today if he keeps going for these final eight laps will do him very well both in position and in financially one clear ways about to lap tony rutter machine number 23 there dave potter the leader number five is through and mick grant is very very close indeed number 10 mick grant there they are five and ten mick grant ducks to the inside on paddock can he get through he can indeed but potter's trying on the outside but mick grant is leading mick grant is leading number 10 he's got in front mick grant but dave potter's coming back very quickly trying to go around on the outside of druids that's some tactics indeed if he tries to take him on the outside there. Mick Grant now, number 10 on the Kawasaki, cranks it into that left-hander, up into fifth gear, 125 miles an hour as he crouches over that machine, comes up behind the fairings, he changes down. Mick Grant, number 10, number 5, Dave Potter, and we've got a race on our hands now as we come to these closing laps in this final round of the Motorcycle News Group 33 Superbike Championship of 1977. Can Potter take him on the inside? No, he can't. Mick Grant closes the door. Ten, Mick Grant changes down to third gear. 80 to 90 miles an hour into paddock. Down that dreadful swoop into the hollow. Up into fourth gear for a 100 mile an hour climb. Looks over his shoulder. Sees Dave Potter. Potter's biting at the inside. He can't make it there. Grant around Druids. First gear, 30 miles an hour. Suddenly up through the gearbox. First, second, third and fourth. Around the left hander and along the back straight. Number 10, Grant. Number 5, Potter. And Mick Grant 
it's certainly got his work cut out. He got through, thanks to those back markers, and a lot of skill from him, of course. And number five, Dave Potter, who led for so long, now finds himself relegated to second position as we come through to complete lap 26 of this 30-lap race. Number 10, Mick Grant. Number 5, Potter. Four laps to go. That's a distance of just 4.8 miles. And these two, you think there was an invisible toe between them. Mick Grant, the lap record holder in the Isle of Man this year at 112.77 miles an hour. The fastest lap ever recorded there. And he's really flying now. And Dave Potter's flying also. Into that left-hander. the difference in the first two as they go into clearways Mick Grant and Dave Potter around now and Potter's trying on the inside can he do it as they come up across the line he's trying all he knows but so is Mick Grant Mick Grant shuts the door at Paddock we've got three laps to go Phil this is a tremendous finale just testing his uh, the speed of his engine, you know, to see on the last lap if he has enough power in hand just to slip past Mick Grant. If Mick is leading uh, out of clearways on the last lap, but I think Mick is uh, dreading the last lap because I've seen him uh, beaten, you know, on the last lap twice, you know, over the past three years. Fine. So uh, what will happen this time? It's still number ten, Mick Grant, as they crank into that left-hander. Number five, Dave Potter, still trying very, very hard. We've still got number twelve, Barry Ditchburn, in third place in fourth place number one but there's Barry Sheen number seven ninth position he holds at the moment Barry Sheen closing on John Newbold as there's number ten the leader though Mick Grant two laps to go Dave Potter still holding on and this is where tactics come in the bad luck or the good luck for one rider as they close up on a slower rider they've got to get fast coming up now to Druid changing down to first gear cranking it in really sliding that machine around number 10 Mick Grant and number five Dave Potter just watch them through this section now in front of him, it's Barry Sheen there, number seven, but Phil, I don't think I've seen a finish like that anywhere. Well, <laughs> I'm surprised that Mick Grant knew that he'd won, because we couldn't tell up here, it looked like a dead heat. But, um, you know, Potter was really unlucky to be balked, you know, because I think he had just had the legs um, initially on, on Mick Grant, up to the line. And here's Barry Sheen cool. coming in now to finish in that seventh place, and uh, that surely is enough to give him this championship once again. So the holder retains his title, but there's the winner, number 10, Mick Grant. And it would certainly be very nice indeed if we could see that finish once again, and here it is. Phil, would you like to talk us through here? <clears throat> well, here they're coming out of um, clearways, right, and there's some... Uh, back marker in the way that they're just lapping and now Mick has just eased the throttle and uh, and Potter has, has had the advantage there uh, but then the uh, the rider lapping has just closed the door on Potter 
and, and leaving Grant the, the chance to really open the uh, Kawasaki out. And there's Mick Grant now, just going through for the presentations. Did he win? Did he win? Incredible. Mick thought he did. The angle is perhaps difficult, but Mick Grant certainly thought he won. What a tremendous finish indeed, and we'll have confirmation now. That he, Mick Grant is coming up for the garland. That means Mick Grant has won by literally that proverbial whisker. Receiving the congratulations there. Barry Ditchburner's teammate at the back. Mick Grant there then doesn't win the championship, but he certainly wins this final race. And that will move him up on our provisional uh, markings up into second place in the championship. The traditional champagne is poured and doesn't Mick Grant look absolutely delighted?